Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on dive toss bombing. This tutorial assumes that you have a working knowledge of CCRP bombing in Russian force aircraft. Okay, let's begin. Think of dive toss as a variation of loft bombing. In both, you toss the unguided munitions upward to give them greater range. Whereas loft bombing normally starts from level flight, in dive toss, you start your attack in a dive. This has advantages and disadvantages, which we will uh, talk about in a few moments. We're about 15 kilometers out from the target, and uh, I'm going to start to climb, and oh, there's their protection. I want to uh, initiate the attack from about 2,500 meters. Okay, leveling out, and they have us locked. Our target today is an aircraft very conveniently parked at the end of the runway. And intelligence tells us that uh, it's protected by a battery of three Tunguskas. Right now I'm trying to uh, designate the impact point for the bombs and place it as close to the target as possible. That looks good. Throttles to full, push over into a dive. We'll trade altitude for speed. This will allow us to uh, gain speed rapidly and impart greater momentum to our bombs. Here we go. G load line and director circle lined up. Pulling back on the stick. Bombs released and lofting. Pulling into an Immelman as our bombs continue to loft towards the target with a far greater range than they would have from level flight. Okay, I'm coming over the top. My direction reversed. We're heading away from the target. Those SAMs are now on a tail chase. We're flying towards safety while our bombs continue on towards the target. One. Two, and three, and boom. Not too shabby. Okay, let's talk a bit about what you've seen. In dive toss, you trade altitude for airspeed. This allows you to increase your airspeed rapidly while covering less ground towards the target. You then pull into a climb and use that increased energy to loft your uh, bombs towards the target. Properly executed, this keeps you out of harm's way. But there are a few things to uh, keep in mind. Lofting of any type works best against fixed or stationary targets. If the target's on the move, you'll have a hard time hitting it. Also, accuracy is an issue. In both loft and dive toss bombing, you are normally designating the impact point from, for your bombs from a greater distance. Therefore, the target is harder to see and you're more likely to be off the mark by just a bit. Against softer targets, uh, cluster munitions might be the better choice. Against hardened targets, use bombs with greater explosive force. You'll have more room for error. And there's one other issue to consider with dive toss bombing. It's best utilized against targets with point defense. This particular target was defended by three Tunguskas on the airbase itself. If the target had been defended in depth, we likely would have dropped right into a SAM's engagement zone during the dive. In terms of the delivery itself, there are a number of variations on the theme. What I demonstrated here was a climb to about 2,500 meters altitude when I was about 15 kilometers out from the target. Usually, by the time you've managed to uh, designate the uh, impact point for your bombs, you've closed the range to about 10 kilometers or so, or slightly less. That's the point at which you go to full burner, push over into a dive, keep the G-load line centered on the director's circle, and then, before burying your nose in the ground, pull smoothly back on the stick into a climb. Your bombs will release, loft upwards, and arc in for the kill. During this time, you continue pulling back on the stick, perform an immelman, effectively reversing your course, and if you've timed everything properly, you're home free. And that completes this mission. Thank you. You have control. 